Here now with Molly Ringwald, you know her from the classics like 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, and now she's starring in the new series Feud, Capote vs. the Swans. Thank you for coming in. You've been enjoying your cast all week long. Thanks for having me. Now, I, I understand, I just want to make sure this is true, you actually got asked to be on the show by Instagram? <laughs> Well, I, I do communicate with Ryan uh, through our DMs. Ryan Murphy, yeah, course, Ryan the Murphy, and uh, and he slid into my DMs and said, "Oh, I think I have something that might be interesting for you." Um, I was also talking with my manager, so I was kind of aware that something might be coming through. But yeah, we we do uh, have a pretty robust. Uh, uh, communication through <laughs> through Instagram. <laughs> you played Joanna Carson, who of course was a great friend of Truman Capote's. Joanne Carson. Jo Joanne Carson, excuse me. <laughs> also the wife uh, of Johnny, Johnny Carson. What kind of research did you do for the role? You know, it wasn't really that easy because um, I, I couldn't find that much. And his third wife was named Joanna Carson, so half the time when I would when I would look her up, I, I didn't know if I was going to get Joanne or Joanna. Uh, but I did find one interview that she had done, I think, for some kind of public access or something. So I watched that. Um, she was also friends with Ali Sheedy, um, who I did Breakfast Club with, and Annie Potts, who I did Pretty in Pink with. They were both friends with her. And so. she, she took Truman in after he had the fight with everybody else? That's right. Yeah, Joanne had uh, divorced Johnny, and Truman had been dropped by all the swans, so they were a little bit outcast together. And uh, I also think that she was really uh, the one person in his life that seemed to love him unconditionally. Mm -hmm. I think she really believed in him as a writer and, and really as a, as a literary genius and really tried to help facilitate that, that Let's genius. Take a look at a clip. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. <laughs> I come bearing gifts. Ooh, gracias. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Mwah. Mwah. Why is your friend sitting in the car? John wants me to buy him a house in Malibu. Little Prince Pauper is pouting. Once he realizes there's a Manhattan waiting for him, he'll come in. <laughs> When's dinner? In an hour, but there's lots of snacky, drinky things. Mm. I hope you like nachos Ooh. and tamales. I love <laughs> So much fun right there. She was really his West Coast refuge. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was really presented to me when Robbie Bates, who, you know, the, the uh, brilliant writer, uh, talked me into doing it. I mean, he didn't really have to talk me into doing it. I was gonna do it anyway. Um, but he really wanted it. They, they wanted her to be a big contrast to the, the, the sort of buttoned up swans, you know, the perfectly quaffed pillbox hats of New York and really wanted a, a sort of a warm contrast to that. So yeah, she's representing West Coast. Now this is not your first time in Truman Capote's world. First acting role as a toddler That's in right. a stage adaptation of one of his plays? That's right, I was in The Grass Harp. I played one of illegitimate, uh, Baby Loves Illegitimate Children. And I just sort of, you know, toddled on stage and, you know, along with my brother. I was Fig Newton, which, and he was Burma Shave. Um, I, I don't, I don't think that these are the actual names, but that's what, those were the names that they gave us. So I, you know, Truman Capote was on my radar from a very young age. As I said, we've had the cast here all week long. Chloe Seveny was here yesterday. She's Love a big Chloe. fan of yours, and she wanted, she had a question for you. Ask I would her. ask her if she could reimagine her Pretty in Pink prom dress. How would she design it? <laughs> That's a really good question, Chloe. Um, pretty much anything but what I wore. <laughs> anything would have been better. No, actually, Marilyn Vance did this, you know, dress, the, the very 80s, you know, which was like sort of an inverted triangle. It was not what I had imagined, uh, and I was not very happy with it, and I really did want to change it. But now that I look back on it, it was very much of its time. I think... Uh, you know, whatever I would choose now, it, it wouldn't have been as good for the movie. That was just so distinctive. And also, you know, if you can look good in that dress, you can pretty much look good in anything. <laughs> Before you go, I want to ask you about your daughter, Matilda. She's following in your footsteps? That's right, yeah. She, uh, she just did her first film. She's a, a supporting actor in the film uh, Idea of You um, that's starring Anne Hathaway and, and directed by Michael Showalter. And I think that's coming out in, in May. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. FX is viewed Capote vs. the Swans premieres Wednesday, January 31st at 10 p.m. on FX. Streams the next day on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.